Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video. And today we're going to be discussing the actual monster underneath the huge Polar Pete location and what is he or who is she. We're going to go over everything we know so far and potentially could there be a Godzilla collab in Fortnite? I've discussed it a little bit in the past, but I wanted to dig a little bit further into it and look into who exactly develops Fortnite and have they got a collab going with Godzilla. So there's been a lot of information going around on Reddit and all sorts of different places and I've kind of piled together a lot of stuff and a few theories of my own to come up with potentially what this monster is going to be. So first off, I'll go over my theories and then towards the end, we'll discuss a little bit about why it possibly will be a Godzilla collab and in my theory, I'm gonna discuss why it won't be. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's try and hit 8,000 likes on this video. Thank you everyone that's supporting the channel recently. We have gained a lot of subscribers and let's get straight into this and show you guys my theories. All right, so first off, I've got so many different point of views that are coming to my brain for this location. So many different things are going on and there is a lot of sort of stuff which I think this guy or egg or female monster, we don't know who it is, could be. A lot of predictions are going around and one that's come to my head recently is the idea of this monster potentially being the mother of the eggs. We saw the eggs back in season seven, which were in this location. There was a total of five eggs here and then three of the eggs or two, I can't remember the exact number, I think it was three, got moved over to the volcano. It doesn't really matter about the exact number because some of them were still left at Polar Peak but went missing. Now, did the Ice King place these eggs underneath into the cave or did the Ice King just get rid of the eggs, he scrapped them and the mother of the eggs who's placed inside of the castle, did she lay them there or the male we don't know what type of gender this monster could be but is that something related to it well it could be and the ice king here you can see i've made a cool concept with the ice king melting it trying to get his beast out of here which is really cool so i assume that the ice king may have won the battle between the three kind of teams we had the ice king team we had the obviously put a little clip of it on screen for you guys right now the pirate team and the fire king team with the other two and we know that the ice king potentially could have won because currently in the fortnite battle royale map there are no like pirate remains really other than lazy and then obviously the fire king his base has been completely wiped and now replaced with the actual government outpost so that kind of sums up that and to me that's what makes me think you know this means that potentially the pirates still have a few different outposts, but they're definitely run down and they're boarded up like this one here. It doesn't look like it's in use, but you know, that makes me think the Ice King won. He survived, so that's why this monster is coming. Now, another leak which was released back in season four. This was pretty major back then. So take a little look at this on screen right now. This goes and says how there could have been two brand new LTMs, which are 50v50 based, and you have to escort the Leviathan to Wailing Woods or Greasy Grove. The other team has to take it down before it's too late. Infinite lives in the game mode with no building. That was a leak that happened a very long time ago. And most of the stuff on this leak kind of came true. I guess not much of it, really. It was kind of a bit diverse and all over the place, you know. To be fair, not much of this really came true at all. But, you know, potentially, the Leviathan could make a return or some sort of appearance as a beast. As we know, this footprint over here has been in the game since season four, was it? I think it first got added in. So, yeah, it was with the movie set. So, it's been here for a very long time. And maybe we could see that beast finally appearing, whoever lay their foot there. So, could be interesting to see if that is the case. So right now in the Fortnite community, there are a lot of live streams going that are fake regarding an event upcoming. This has been happening for a few weeks, but they have got worse over the last few days. In particular, one creator called It's Jacob has his stream repeating every 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes a little bit less, and he's been doing this for four days. He's gained 200,000 subscribers by tricking people that an event is taking place and misleading
feeding his content, which is absolute awful for the Fortnite community. And the bad thing about it is, well, you can't really say anything because he's got everyone spamming F in chat. So you can't actually see the chat when I say something in chat saying this is happening. It's not real, guys. Don't expect this. And people are like, no one sees it because so many people are spamming F. And it is on repeat. The whole stream is looped. Every 20 minutes, it just restarts. So it's like me playing this video back to you guys live over and over and over. And you guys don't know because you can't wind back the stream if you set it so you can't do that. It's really bad content. And if you guys do see people doing stuff like this, let your friends know. Let everybody know. Let as many people know as you can so they don't get trapped. Because a lot of people only watch these streams for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can see here, It's Jacob has got millions and millions of views. He's even made it onto the trending page above Tifu, which is absolutely insane from just clip baiting this live stream for seven hours of repeated content which is exactly the same it's just like putting a video live over and over and over and over it's just ridiculous so this is currently going on in the fortnite community please be careful guys be aware of all this sort of stuff make as many people aware of it as possible avoid these creators because they're not really creators they're just faking an event which is not taking place if anything is taking place like live events or anything like that you'll expect them on my channel or on other official creators channels you know the ones that usually stream the events where it's legit if anything does happen expect that on my channel Anyway guys, moving on from that topic because it's quite a dark topic of the Fortnite community We're actually going to be talking a little bit about will Godzilla actually come into the Fortnite map So for those wondering PUBG Mobile have officially done a collab with Godzilla You can see a few screenshots of that on screen right now and funny enough the actual owner of PUBG Mobile does own some rights in Epic Games as well. So if Godzilla was to approach them, then potentially we could see a collab in Fortnite as well now it is possible, and we also have a few other things going on that hint towards this. We've seen in the Fortnite Battle Pass, we've actually got a little emblem of a dinosaur. Probably not Godzilla, but who knows. And also the Leviathan skin. Like I mentioned earlier on in the video, the Leviathan could make an appearance, and that also recently reappeared in the item shop. So could this be a giant Leviathan? It would be pretty funny, but who knows what this creature is actually going to be. So... My theory regarding it not being Godzilla is why would Fortnite put in an event into Fortnite Battle Royale related to a film? I don't think it would happen. Now, if this was to be Godzilla, I do believe Fortnite would decide to actually just have the beast appear and not destroy Polar Pete, not destroy Greasy Grove, not do anything that people are predicting, because if this was the case... I think it would kind of mess up the Fortnite storyline, making a film character not related to Fortnite wreck the map. I don't think that would be necessary, and I don't think Epic Games would make that decision. I think they would decide, you know what, this is not going to be Godzilla. This is going to be some sort of beast that the Ice King has summoned, and that's what we'll use in this circumstance to have this magnificent huge giant beast maybe it's an ltm or whatever it comes as destroy stuff during a live event now it could be as if the beast has a lot of health and we have to do damage to it that's something i've mentioned a little bit like the ender dragon kind of like a huge game where everyone just kind of deals damage to one big creature which would be absolutely awesome we've seen that in the past a few different things as well we've seen epic games test the actual aspect of breaking something live you know with the rocks and stuff and earlier on it was actually over the bunker the polar peak bunker as i like to call it or the ice bunker there was a rock over that frozen rock or whatever you want to call it an iceberg and you had to break that that was the first one and then obviously we saw the most recent one as well with the runes moving every time you hit it it moves well there could be a boss which you have to fight another theory which i've heard as well is there could be an area where this boss spawns and you have to kill it to gain loot a little bit like the save the world boss that we have the storm king it could be similar to that which would be very interesting and exciting also epic games have been working on a few other games as we know the epic game store is giant they have so many ideas and they produce a bunch of different content with other uh, like developers and stuff and one of their recent projects they've been producing is a kind of multiplayer online game where you work as a team of four or five or whatever number it is and you have to take out bosses a little bit like world of warcraft and i think something like that would work with this boss in fortnite they've tried it out previously with a few smaller things and i do think they could pull it off with this we'd have to see but they could actually have this as a beast around the polar peak area which you have to do damage to and it's just kind of roaming around and it does fight back i think it would be quite hard to make it 100 fight back but i think they could do it they'd have to have it with say 
say a million health and each shot does maybe half a damage or maybe even more i don't know the exact health figures but in each game it does its own kind of actions so you're doing damage to it and you're doing damage to a whole so every single server does the same damage like it adds up but in each server the monster reacts differently so it'll do different moves different positions move around the map it'll damage different players because obviously if it's all moving at once at the same in every single server then it wouldn't be possible because it'd be shooting at someone that's invisible on your server so you'd have to have the monster itself do exactly different actions on every single server but the health needs to be across every single server if you guys get what i mean i don't know how to explain that basically the health is by calculated across all of the servers and then the actions of the monster are different on each one if that kind of sums it up it's quite complicated but you'll probably get where i'm coming from with that i think it's pretty exciting to know that we could see a godzilla collab but it's probably unlikely because of PUBG. I don't think Fortnite would want to conflict with a huge game which conflicts with it. I guess the owners would, maybe, because if they've been approached by Godzilla, then I guess they'll probably put it into Fortnite. But Epic Games are always going to have that say at the end of the day. There's more than just one person or two people deciding all this stuff. There's a bunch of people who decide what to do in these sort of situations. So I'm pretty hyped for it, and I hope you guys are too. I suspect there is going to be a lot of stuff going on. As we have seen this white cube-like substance underneath, obviously, Polar Peak and Greasy Grove. So, a lot of people have been saying that this is Kevin the Cube coming back. Just to let you know, guys, and everybody out there trying to let as many people know this as possible. These are only placeholders. And what that is, it basically means that in the future, another thing could render in here. Either in the current update or in a future update. They did this in the past with a few things. But not everything gets put at a placeholder. So, for example, at any moment, Epic may say, you know what? We're not putting something in there. We'll put something in there another day or in the future. Future. so you know depending on how much stuff gets leaked or how many things are going on and what's going on at epic this all decides if epic are actually going to go through with the current event that is taking place you know any second or any day epic could turn around and go hold on guys let's cancel this let's change it and do an event over at paradise palms instead there's too much stuff going on at greasy too much misleading and weird content out there going around let's just cancel all of the epic game stuff over at polar peak and let's make a huge fortnite slash epic games event over at paradise this season and we'll do something at polar peak in the summer season again that could easily happen at any moment when i could easily do that so just let you know guys these placeholders aren't 100 percent confirmed they near enough are but you just never know i'd probably give it about a 60 to 70 percent chance of something actually appearing at these placeholders because in the past there have been several they are not kevin the cube though so just let you guys know these have nothing to do with kevin the cube they are from creative and they are used in the creative prefab for the actual blocks so don't think it's kevin i know people are saying that on them streams and stuff so just don't get misled there also guys that's going to be it for today's video please be careful with the dark side of fortnite which is appearing slowly we are seeing a lot of that content come around and it is getting on the trending now so just be aware let as many people know it as you can stick to your favorite creators if any events do go live like i've said it will be on your favorite creators channels like myself and other creators out there you will see legit content creators covering legit events so just keep an eye out guys for others in the community and just support everybody out there hope you guys have enjoyed much love and respect to everybody who's made it all the way to the end of the video if you made it right to the end comment down below support and love to the community so i know you guys have made it all the way to the end i hope you guys have enjoyed and once again Again, this is Postbox Pat signing out.